Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome due to high demand back to Firm Bus Coach Simulator here on the channel. So we are in a brand new bus, well it's not brand new, it's brand new on the channel but it's been out for a few weeks now. This is the Comfort Class HD, um, there's a few buses in this pack, I believe they're all the same, just different lengths. Um, so check them out, I'll put a link to that in the description box below. I did buy this by the way, my own money, I'm not sponsored. This I literally bought this just before this video, I haven't bought the Switzerland DLC yet. Uh, hopefully we'll check it out in a future video, but for now, this is our bad boy today. So I've gone with the, it's not the longest one, but it's the it's the double rear axle one. Um, the smaller one of the two. Um, so here she is on the outside. I'm not sure what it's based on in real life. I have a feeling it's Mercedes. Now this one isn't, well it might be a real brand, you guys have to tell me. But there's a reason I say it might not be, and I'll show you that in a second. So once again, on the outside you've got all the, uh, the gizmos. The doors and stuff, you can open all the uh, cargo holds there. There's no bonnet, once again, on the back. And there's a cargo hold, oh, there's a door there, sorry, and two cargo holds here. So you see right through there, that's how you get up to the bus. Let's go ahead and close all these real quick, and I'll show you the inside of the coach, and I'll show you, let's get the front door open while I do this. Um, and I'll show you why I think this is not a real coach. Well, it is a real model, but I mean, I don't know if they've branded it as real. One, there's nothing on the front, and coaches usually have a brand on the front, and two, there's a big, let me just put the uh, walk mode on there by pressing shift. Um, we have a big red circle in the middle of the steering wheel, but I think it might be Mercedes. It looks like a Mercedes steering wheel to me. What do you guys think? Um, so here's the actual coach. Once again, this is only a single deck coach. This is a reasonably long one, not longest, but quite long. We haven't got leather seats. They're like, uh, what, what are these? They don't they look like leather? They look like, um, not necessarily fabric, but like a, a velo or something like that. No idea. And we go all the way to the back here. And chill. So once again, we've got a little bit of storage up the top. We've got our air vents there. There's no TV on this coach. Maybe it flips down. We'll soon see in a minute. Maybe it flips down from there, maybe? Or was that an air vent? We'll soon find out. So with that said, let's go ahead and I think we can close the door from the uh, the cockpit. So go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I do have hair tracking on, so it's going to be a bit hard. So we're going to use the preset camera angles for this. So we're going to press number eight. Hopefully this is how we start it. Do we have to have a foot on the brake? Let's put our foot on the brake. Maybe that'll work. No, it's just a start and stop. How do we actually turn the engine on then? Um, once again, this is... What is that noise? Okay, so I managed to turn the, vo uh, the uh, radio off. So I'm pretty sure that's real music. So I don't want to be putting that in the video. Um, let's go ahead and close front door first of all. Like so, we get a nice little camera view that pops up now. I, did that always do that? I can't remember. Um, so how do we actually get this turned on then? So, do we have to hold it? There we go. That's a nice interesting feature. Um, you guys obviously didn't see that, but my steering wheel actually vibrated when I put that on there. That's pretty cool. So you hold that to, um, to turn that on. So let's go ahead and put the side lights on. These aren't the main running lights, these are just the, uh, the daytime running lights here. Uh, we've got some window shades, let's see what they do. So we're going to go down, which is... Looks like it's on the driver side, maybe? We can go up as well. And the second one, I'm assuming, is right next to that. So let's try and go... There we go. So there's the window shades. We might use them later on, although I've got the weather on random, so anything could happen. We've got heater for the... Uh, Driver, window heating and mirror heating. Look at that turned on, why not? Windscreen heating, to keep that from demisting when people get on. Not really sure that is. That looks probably looks like fog lights, maybe. Um, mirror adjust, I think we can't actually use that. Emergency release, stop brake, automatic particle feet. Uh, we're just going to turn that on. I have no idea what that is. Window. That's the driver window there with its sound as well, which is pretty cool. We'll get that put back up there. So there's all the uh, stuff we need on this side. Here we've got lane assistance warning system. We're actually going to turn that on. Um, I think that beeps when uh, we're getting ready to change lane, maybe? But I want it turned on, so let's go ahead and keep all that on. Um, steering column adjustment, fanfare on off, which is the annoying little horn sound that uh, comes out of here. Here's the, uh, the comm system. I forgot the proper name for that, bear with me. Um, right down here, we've got reading lights clearance, which of course just turns it on and then uh, Oh no, we can turn it on from here, but they can also turn it off themselves if we have it on that. So that turns all of them on, that puts it on to clearance so they can control it themselves. We've got the passenger lights there which lights up the back of the coach, we'll turn it on for now. And the driver light here as well which is right above our heads. Nav light, not really sure what nav light does if I'm being honest. Um, the 2030 volt clearance which I'm assuming they can charge their phones and stuff 
with that kitchen clearance on off uh, hostess clearance apparently we've got hostess on this coach restroom clearance and reversing camera washing you can wash your reverse camera there lift up lift down um so it looks like it might just what's that lift center lift up this might just be the front yeah this is just the front or we can lift up the whole thing here and put the whole thing down like so hill holder we're gonna turn that on definitely gonna put turn that on uh, that'll stop us rolling back on the hills wi-fi clearance once again play announcement We've got driver monitor, which is the uh, GPS in our case here. Passenger monitors. Oh, they do flip down. There we go. I thought that might have been the case. So there is the passenger monitors there. We're going to care to put them up just in case we get a tall passenger. And we've also got, we can't really see it underneath here, but that is the, um, tells you where we're going basically. So the front of the coach. Um, here's all your aircon and stuff here. I'm actually going to get that to put on to like a, a warm get it warmed up before we even get there and then they can't complain um, although I wish this I wish I could turn this off I can't remember how to turn this off but it's kind of in the way well actually I think I've set that uh, I'll cut that out because uh, that was pretty long just to see me trying to learn that and we've got emergency valve reset no idea there's warning lights which is the hazard lights we've got unlock luggage doors lock luggage doors on the right and left uh, front door roof hatch air in. Ah, there we go. We can open them. That's pretty cool. That's new. Ah, that's really cool. We'll get them open for now. Get some air whizzing around so it smells nice and fresh when they get onto the coach. And uh, finally, we've got our dashboard and stuff there. Let's just double check to make sure we got everything that we need for setting off first of all, which we do. So let's head back into the cab here. Right, there we go. So I have now got head tracking turned on. We are ready to go. All the doors are closed. The head track is a little bit sensitive. I'm going to have to turn that down later on, but for now it should be fine. Now, is the control still working for this? Right, get ready. So I've had to uh, familiarize myself with the controls, but we are now back and ready to go. So I got the side panel all remapped, good to go. That was all old. The wheel was working, but not the side panel. So we're now ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and put her in to drive. Let's go to reverse a minute so we know what's what. That's neutral, drive. Uh, we need to get our brakes off. Uh, we're good to go, I think. So, how long have we got until the first one? We've got two minutes. So, as you can see, I've took my time. So, we're going to be a little bit late, but we'll have to live with it. We'll put our foot down on the motorway. And we are actually going from this city. So, we might actually still make it. Let's right, indicate out of here. We are indicating. You can't really hear it. But you can see it on the dashboard there. All right. What's this Volkswagen doing? Is he letting us go? They've redone the force feedback. It feels great. Cheers, buddy. Oh, I won't hit your car. Oh, it's going to be a truck. Yeah, they've redone the force feedback. It feels absolutely incredible. Really, really uh, chuffed with the force feedback. It feels a lot more like OMSI now, if you guys have ever played OMSI. So, uh, yeah, they've done some a lot of good changes underneath the uh, the bonnet of this thing. Maybe not visually just yet, although we have a brand new country, which I don't have just yet once again. I need to turn head roll off. Um, hopefully that's not making you guys too dizzy. Let's indicate right here. There we go. Just a giveaway sign there. turn this way. The force feedback was really good. Maybe a little bit too stiff, but you can just turn that down in the settings. Um, I think a bus would just have really light power steering in real life. Never driven one. Or a coach, sorry, not a bus. You guys have to tell me. That's green. Good. We are one minute away. So as long as we get there in the next minute or so. I'm not sure how much headroom this game gives you. Oh, loading some new textures there. There has been the new textures and shaders and stuff uploaded as well, as you can see. There's also a lot of scenic stuff, like the cars parked up on the side of the road and better shadows on the trees. It just feels a lot more realistic. What do you guys think? Right. We're actually late now. We are officially late. As I was about to say, we're going to be late. We, we are actually late. Um, let's get the handbrake on here. What are we doing for traffic back there? Come on. Okay, so while we're at this bus stop, let me just flick through the different cameras here, because I want to actually turn off that. Uh, the reason for that is because I don't want them to get on straight away, basically. So that should stop them from doing that. Let's go back to this view here. Um, so we just turned off the uh, the board on the front that tells us our destination. Our destination board, maybe you want to call it that. Um, so they don't jump on straight away. gives us time to set up and stuff. Now we're a minute late. But, um, you know, safety first. I had to make sure the bus was ready to go. Now what we are going to do is turn the lights on. Just our running lights. I turned them off when I was getting rid of the control. Uh, getting used to the controls. So now it's, uh, everything's all lit up red here. Looking good. Um, 
break off and we're away. Let's indicate left here. Oh, come on, Audi. Audi, go on. What are you waiting for? Light's green. No, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, there's a police car there. It's green. It's green. This isn't traffic light simulator. We're going for it. Right, I'll meet you guys when we get to the destination then. Well, the, the first pickup, I should say. The police car, you need to actually behave. Oh, he's, turned, he's gone straight forward. Right, okay, everybody, so we are now just approaching our first pickup point, which is just around this corner. We have to give way, but the traffic looks pretty empty today. I might have had it a little bit too low. I did it for the FPS, but I'm thinking we might turn it back up again just so it's actually a bit more interesting, although we still got stuck at the lights, so I might just keep it the way it is. Oh, it is going to be a uh, state traffic like simulator. Right, let's pull into our first stop here. We're a little bit late. We are three minutes late. I mean, that's pretty good as far as coaches and buses go. I don't know if you guys ever got public transport before, but three minutes is pretty good. Right, let's get that turned on. We're going to go into neutral here. Um, we're going to keep the bus... That is not what I wanted. Let's get the bus turned off like so. Now, one thing I want to do before we get out is close the uh, the windows, wherever that was. Where was that? Where did we see the windows? Oh, there we go. Let's get this closed, which is not where... Oh, it's good. We turned the bus off. Idiots. Right. Let's get that closed down. That closed down there. Get that. Cool. Right, now what we're going to do real quick is get passenger lights... On? If you'll let me. Enable, there we go. That's what we wanted. Uh, we do have all of these buttons on here. I just can't remember which one does which. Uh, we are going to actually lower the bus here, which I think the bus needs to be turned on for. Nope, that's the wrong button. There we go. Go! Right, let's try that again. There we go. Lower the bus, like that. This is all on the wheel now. Um, I wasn't in neutral, I thought I was. So that's why we couldn't turn the bus on. And we're going to go ahead and get the front door open up first of all. And finally, let's get our destination up here. And get the engine off now. And we're going to jump out. So I'm going to quickly move the microphone forward so I can actually lean over the desk here. And, um, oh, did I say you could do that? Right, let's get these. What's going on here? There we go. That's what we wanted. That should have unlocked these. Yep, yeah, there we go. Cool. So one thing we need to do before we head in is we'll get that open once again, let the passengers on. So we have got our destination turned on here. We want to log in to the Flixbus app. Give it a second. And we're not going to start ride just yet. We are going to check people in, though. So we'll go to the names that we need to check in here. And we'll start talking to these. Hello. I'd like you to buy a ticket from Darmstadt to Weisbaden. I have no idea how to say these, uh, these places, by the way. Uh, no, that's not what we want to do. Let's go to... Sale. There we go. Let's go down to... Why is Baden? I'm probably saying that completely wrong. I do apologise if I am. If there's any German watchers, scan the number, and on you get love. Right, buddy. Express check-in. Cool. So your name is Ni Nilo? Nilo? Maybe? There you are. I see you. Express check-in. Sc scan your phone. Thank you. Ooh, you're, uh, you're short. We've got a good old-fashioned paper ticket here. You're going to Wiesbaden, which is the right place. Actually, make sure you're on a Cena. Yeah, right at the top there. It was Cena, I think it might have been. Let's get you checked in. Jetty? I have no idea how to say these names. I'm just going to give it a go anyway. And you are on here. Let's go ahead and scan you in. Alright, love. Nice hat. Elisa. I don't. So I do see you. Let's go ahead and scan you in. Um, Alright, love. Fina. Fina, 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 Fina. You are not on here trip. Oops. We're not going to them, my love. Hello, let's yep, oops it. indeed. Right, what about your twin? She's going to the right place? What's your name? Amelia. Uh, Amelia? Cool. There you are. Let's get you checked in. Thank you very much, love. Is yeah, mate. There's some new character models as well. I don't know if you guys noticed. We've got some new people. Justin. Danke. Good, easy, readable easy. name. There you go, Justin. Alright, short stuff. Your name is Hannah. Hannah, 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 Hannah. There you go. I see you. Guten Tag. Thank you, Sean. Guten Tag. What's your name then? I have no idea to say that. Petzold. Ciao. 
There you are, right at the top. See ya. Hello, that's a ticket. Where are you, buddy? Hello. Magnus, 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 Magnus. Are you on here? Where are you travelling to? You are going to the right place. Am I being blind? Magnus. Mort. Mort. Yeah, Moritz, sorry. There you go. You're on a different page. Well, I forgot about that little feature. You can see who's left. Estelle. All right, Estelle. There you are, love. On you yet. Anyone left? You. Hello. Why is Biden? Uh, you are... I have no idea to say that, but there you are. Thank you very much. So we just had one person in the wrong but I don't know why they took out the fact that they used to walk onto the bus when I first played this, and now they don't. Once again, we have talked about this in the previous video. I think, basically... They used to get stuck and then it ruined the game, so it's kind of a good thing, but it'd be cool if they managed to fix it instead of remove it. See so yeah, I love. And away we go, we are massively behind schedule. Right, guys. Right, so quickly jump onto the bus here. We're going to go back into my driving position, which is back here like that. I have to sit back, obviously, when I'm using the wheel and bring the microphone with me. Right, so let's go ahead and close the door here. We're going to get the coach turned on by holding... No, that's the announce. We're going to get this on. Right. Let's see if we've got uh, power here. There we go. Let's get that cranked up. And we'll put foot on the brake. You see the wheel vibrate there. I actually did it on wheel cam as well. I don't know if you guys saw that. So that's now ready to go. Let's quickly tab through the tabs here. We want to make sure that the they're locked, first of all. Doors are closed. We do that manually. We can go ahead and uh, restroom clearance on off there. There we go, kitchen clearance, why not? You can, guys can charge your phones and stuff. Reversing camera washing, we'll do that later on. Um, passenger lights, we want to turn them on dimmed. Uh, night lights, it's not night time. We're going to let them t uh, control their own lights, sorry. Wi-Fi clearance, there we go. Uh, driver monitor, that's us. Destination display, that's us. Um... Right, so let's drop these uh, screens down there, and we are now ready to go. One thing we have to do real quick is turn the head tracking back on, first of all. We are massively behind schedule. Let's get the bus lifted up here. Um, we're going to go ahead and put it into drive. And let's go ahead and get the announcement started. Why won't it work? There we go. We're away. Handbrakes, I believe. Right, so watch the uh, AC2 cold. Ugh, you lot are such a pain in my backside. It's going to be too hot now, already. It's the bus driver, it's too hot. Alright, there we go. This is only a giveaway, I believe. Right, so whilst he uh, does these announcements in German, um, welcome back. Once again, we got off to a bit of a rough start. We are 13 minutes behind schedule. 16 minutes behind schedule. I uh, know it is 30 minutes because we had to leave at two minutes past. So, um, yeah, welcome back. This is highly requested. I'm a bit rusty, as you guys can tell, but um, we've got a couple of videos doing this. Once again, I do need to go to Switzerland when I can afford to buy that DLC. Once again, I don't get the DLC for free. I actually buy the stuff for this. Um, AC2 cold. I don't understand what you want me to do here. What do you want me to do? I've put it on warm. I've got it turned on. I can't really control it from here. I'm gonna be honest. The one bad thing about this game is stuff like this. You need a bazillion buttons to do this on the fly. Now, a good bus driver would have this ready when, uh, well, in real life, you'd, have it, you'd be able to do it easy when you're driving, but you could also get it ready for when the passengers get on the bus. There we go, is that working? Hello and Maybe. welcome to Flixbus. To have you on board and I think that will do for now. We also have the English now, so I'm going to be quiet. Oh, you guys have had the announcement before, I'm not going to be quiet for the English announcement, but there we go. Um, so we're going to head on to the motorway now, we've only got one stop, so this is all of our passengers. No, usually we do two, but the reason for that is because we are heading up north. Now the reason we're heading up north is because when we get the switch from the DLC, we're going to be actually be able to go there and not have to do like a huge journey from Frankfurt to there, to Switzerland. So we're trying to get quite close to there now, so when I do get it, we're good to go. Turn the gate onto here. 
if you would like to book cool. next journey. 100 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour, Eve, sorry, is uh, our speed limit. So you can take advantage off the road already. Let's force feedbacks a little bit too tight. I didn't adjust it. I didn't even realize they changed it, if I'm being honest with you. Um, but it feels a lot better. A lot, a lot better. Even with the Logitech wheel. Usually I rant and rave about how I want the Thrustmaster. This is pretty good. I do like it. So if you guys haven't picked up this game yet, I do recommend it. I get nothing from saying that. I just think it's a really good game. I'd love for people to support the game so that the developers put more effort into the game. And then maybe one day it'll be like the ETS 2 of the coach world. Who knows? Let's indicate this way, isn't it? There we go. That clicky sound you heard there was the uh, retarder, just to help us slow down without throwing everybody at the front of the coach. Um, you got also may know that there's uh, a lot more vegetation around the outside, and I'm not getting any major FPS drops whatsoever. So, a couple of frames here and then, but on the whole, pretty solid FPS. Looks like they've done some optimizing as well, which is really cool. All right, where are we going? We are going to be turning right on the little loop de loop thing. I can't beam it. It's just that beam we have to look forward to. Right. Slow ourselves around as we go around here, because we are pretty long. This Once again, this isn't the longest version in the pack, but it's a uh, one of the double rear axles. Bit of FPS drop as we go around here. Not sure why that is. But yeah, the yeah, foliage looks a lot better. The vegetation looks a lot better on this uh, new update. I haven't played it for a while, so I don't actually know how long ago they added all this stuff. So if you're saying Sim is really old, I do apologise. It's literally been... Well, the last time I played it was when I put a video up. So you guys have to check that. Okay, over to there. Of course, how are you guys doing? Welcome back. So I did try recording a farm sim video at your speeding. Oh, it changed. It changed under 70. You're not that much in a hurry. We're pretty late, I'm not going to lie. We've only got 20 minutes to get there. Um, and we are 16 minutes behind schedule, so... Probably a little bit fast, you are right. Look at this car. One idiot. Move over to the uh, other lane, will you? Idiot. So I did try getting uh, my Oculus Rift to work with this game as well the other day, but couldn't get it working. Um, I don't, well it's not a VR game, but um, for some reason every time I open this game, Steam VR tries to open, which I think is really, really weird. We're going right through Frankfurt Airport here. Did I? No, I didn't choose to stop here, so we'd be off by now. So we're just going through Frankfurt Airport here. Um, so we're heading to Weisen... Weisen... Uh, Weisbaden? Weisbaden? Something like that. Um, once again, I'm terrible at speaking German. I won't even know where to start. I don't even have to say hello in German. I know how to say Guten Tag. That's about it. Um, so yeah, let's quickly... Uh, this is a really long straight road here. So what we're going to do is... Uh, speed up a little bit and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright okay, everybody so I think we're pretty close now. It's 11.56 a.m. in... Yay! Slow down boat coach. Quite top heavy this one. And according to the mirrors we're clear to go although the cars do not show in the mirror until the very last minute which is why we nearly crashed into that yellow car a minute ago. Um, I believe we're nearly there. The GPS... well the time is 11.58 and the GPS is showing we're going to get there at 12.03. So yeah, pretty much there. We might actually be on time somehow. I think we floored it a little bit on the uh, the motorway and it may have paid off a little bit. Although we are now stuck in traffic. So this is going to be the, the big if, I think. Let's get the handbrake on here. Although, in real life, I now have an automatic car. And I've recently discovered that you don't actually need the handbrake with all my other cars. I didn't realise that. I've only ever driven manual before. So, um, if you press the foot brake, on my car at least, you just stay there until you press the uh, accelerator, basically. Which is pretty cool. So we don't actually need the parking brake on this coach if it's anything like that. And um, we're going straight forward here. According to the GPS, we are in the correct lane. Although, I'm beginning to think we might not be now. Yeah, okay. We can go forward. Why is it going so slow? Come on. You're in the wrong gear. It's the one bad thing about uh, automatic stuff. You cannot actually determine what gear you're in. Like, you can't choose. You can't even put it in sequential, but that's... I don't know about other cars, but that's terrible on mine. Right, here we are. We're on the right lane. We're going forward. Hopefully this carries on going forward. It doesn't just turn right. Oh, there is no right turn. Good. Good simulate. I think we're going to make it, you know. Uh, we are three minutes late. It's not the worst. Is that green? It is green. Cool. 
Right. I don't think my left indicator is actually working. I'll have to check that in a second. That means the whole video has been broken. So let me know if you guys do want more firm bus. I get asked it quite a lot, but um, I don't know how much you guys actually want to see me driving a coach around Germany and now Switzerland. So there's going to be one more video soon. I'm not sure how many. Could be a week, could be two weeks, could be a couple of days, which is going to be the Switzerland video. Now the strange thing with my firm bus videos is they don't get very much views on the first couple of days, and then I'll look, check them again in about two weeks, and there'll be like 50,000 views, which I'm not sure how that happens. But big thank you to everybody that's watching the stuff that's not just farm sim. Really appreciate it. In fact, if you go onto my channel and go onto the most viewed, the first like five, six videos are not farm sim, so maybe I'm doing something wrong. Right, we are nearly at our destination here. We're a little bit late, but. Like I said, once again, public transport, we're not that late in real life. In reality, pretty good. Follow the white line. This bus does handle quite well. I'm wondering if we've got a steerable axle at the back. I don't think we do, but we could have, because this is pretty good handling indicator right here. There we go. And here is our drop-off. Quite a short journey today, but like I said, we are just unlocking towns until we get around where Switzerland is going to be when I actually buy the DLC. Right, let's get you into neutral. Parking brake on. Um, in fact, what we can do as well is put all of our brakes on just for a bit of safety. Let's lower the bus for people's convenience. And get the door open, basically. Right, so we're in neutral. Let's just double check here. Let's get head tracking off. Um, I think we're going to turn everything off here in a minute. Nope, that's not what we wanted. Let's get that turned off in case people think we're going there now. Get everything turned off. Lift down. Let's turn on all lights. On bright. Our passengers have already got off. Interesting. You're not going to wait for your luggage. You are waiting for your luggage. Okay. I've left them locked, haven't I? Yeah, well done me. Uh, lock. There we go. Hopefully oh, that's work. There you go. There's your bags. Enjoy. So there we go, guys. That was the Comfort Class HD bus. I really enjoyed it. It's quite nice to drive. And um, once again, it's quite a short journey, but we had, well, by the first like 10 minutes of the video, we were looking at it, so that's why. Um, so thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you did enjoy, please tap the thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.